So we start with uh, design in the fall, at the beginning of the fall semester, and then into the spring we uh, move into manufacturing. So uh, we started with these cars in uh, the end of August. Finishing up right now. The design and build a race car from scratch and uh, kind of do it all ourselves. So it's, it's definitely one of a kind program. I mean, what can what can represent the university better than uh, students spending a lot of time and really loving what they do? Not only are we building our gas powered Formula SA car, but we're also building a Formula Hybrid version, uh, basically retrofitting this year our 2009 car with an electric motor uh, to work along with the 250. Um, internal combustion as well. It's not necessarily how well you do at competition, although that certainly helps. It's the experience of team building, of just doing things, like doing engineering work in general, and building things and working on things, that really helps you. I'm a mechanical engineering student now, and uh, I mean, my dream is to go into automotive engineering or some sort of motorsports and I mean I know doing something like this, the JR Motorsports, is definitely gonna put me put my foot in the door and put me ahead of the game. I mean experience wise I think this is an incredible experience. Just so much uh, ability to do things that you would never be able to do in the classroom. I think uh, the students that do this are just that much more prepared. The electrical engineers, I imagine that working on the hybrid would be a lot more advantageous to them because then uh, people can see, or jobs can see, that they've actually worked on electrical systems and seen how they've been implemented on their car. Get to start it and run it and take a competition and, and be one of the top competitors out there. It definitely all pays off, all that hard work and sleepless nights and uh, caffeine addiction, it, it definitely works out. Couldn't do it without all the support that we get from a lot of local and individual sponsors and donors as well as a lot of corporate sponsors, I mean, it's an expensive project. You can't do it without all the support coming in, parts and money. Uh, the team will travel to New Hampshire this year on May 1st through the 4th, and then we'll go to Detroit uh, from May 11th through the 14th, and then we'll go uh, to California in June on uh, the 15th through the 18th. You know, you just kind of sit there, you close your eyes, and you, you know, just tell yourself, like, you know, you've done this before, run the course through your head before you go up to the line and hopefully at competition, you know, there's, I know there's going to be a lot more butterflies. I think this will be a really exciting year at competition. I think uh, the cars have some really good things going for them and I'm really, I'm really excited to go and see how we do. We're down to a 65 inch wheelbase, which from a driver's perspective is going to be new and exciting because we've never really done anything that short before and so it's going to be a new challenge there and also big wings, uh, that's going to be fun too because more downforce is always better. Yeah, I mean I am excited to drive it. I've never driven any of them before so I'm excited.